Hello Troglodytes, and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're going to see just how much Raspberry Pi do you need to run a Minecraft server? What is the minimum Raspberry Pi version you need to run a Minecraft server functionally? For this, um, I'm not going to connect it to the public internet for obvious reasons. Connecting it to the internet would be uh, dumb and stupid, and I don't want to mess with my router and all those settings. And yeah, there would be a big security risk, and I we're just we're not doing that. But this is going to be a local only server, so a LAN server for my for me for right now for this video. And there are some benefits to that. Number one, it's a lot simpler to set up. If you were to have this set up permanently, I would recommend just setting a static IP address for it so that if your router ever reboots or whatever, you don't have to like go in and okay, what's the IP for it and then all that stuff. Um, so that makes it simple. And then, because it's local only, say, I don't know, you have a whole bunch of people who all want to play in the same Minecraft world in your own house. They can all play together. You don't have to, you have just a dedicated machine to, um, you know, host that for your family or for your friends or your dorm or whatever. And that also means you can have your Minecraft world on any computer. So you don't have to worry about, oh no, I lost my backup or, oh no, I want to play on this other machine that any computer that supports Java Minecraft. So that's pretty neat. Um, also, it can kind of split the rendering load, so the server is the one that's in handle, handling like all the world building and world generation and chunk loading and all that kind of stuff, because it's, you know, the world is on the server. So if your computer is, you can't see that in this shot, if your computer is kind of like weak or whatever, well now you can have two potatoes, you can combine the power of two potatoes instead of just one. So that'll make things uh, a little bit easier. Um, I, don't, I don't think this is going to handle that very well, though. So, let us begin. Oh, oh here we go. This one has the, has the raspberry. Yay, the raspberry penguin thing is back, baby, let's go. All right, how old is this? I don't know. Chomping on some almonds today, because I'm a little peckish. Oops. I didn't plug a keyboard into it. <laughs> that might be a problem. All right, that worked. Recognize my keyboard. What the fuck did I say is my credentials here? System is booting up. Why? Unprivileged users are not permitted to log in yet. Please come back later. Okay. Well, why do you give me a login prompt if I'm not allowed to log in yet? Uh... Okay... Why does it do this? It's like, hey, you wanna, you wanna log in? Uh, I'm not ready yet. Come back late. What's, what's that about? Did something similar the last time. It's like, hey, here's a command prompt. We're ready. Actually, we're not. Hold on. Just... Be ready when you're ready. Don't give me false signals. Don't say, oh, hey, let's go. Come on, log in. 
Actually, uh, no. I just do it. Uh, you can't have it both ways. Uh. All, right. All right, let's see if this will work. So, sudo at install default jdk. Will this even work? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot. All right, install all the Javas. Okay, sweet. All right, so we have just gone and installed all the Java stuff, hopefully. There was one file that ran an error that some VM thing, so this might not work. <laughs> um, but we're gonna plow ahead anyway, so. Let's say start making our directories. Now we're going to download the Minecraft executable. So let me go here, copy link. And then we're gonna wget, so we're gonna download the link. Alright, so wget and then that should be this. All right, so as you can see right here, it says we're gonna need to set it up with a one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, this Pi only has 512 megabytes. Now, people have gotten this to run on the Wii with only 88 megabytes of RAM, so this should work. We're just gonna have to modify that command. So let's say we're gonna give it um, 400 megabytes instead of a gig. Will that even work? An error occurred. Server is only supported on later versions. All right, so that's not gonna work. All right, so a lot has happened since the previous clip of the original Pi. Um, so it turns out that the original Pi, as we saw before, um, didn't support ARM v7. It was ARM v6. So the CPU was just, the CPU architecture is fundamentally too old to run the latest Java stuff. So I could have, I probably could have done some other stuff, but then I tried the Raspberry Pi 2. Okay. So the, for the original Pi, too old. The Raspberry Pi 2. Still running the Debian bullseye. I'm like, whatever, it's a 32-bit thing. Let's just use the lighter version. Give me more performance for the server. Uh, it turns out that the version of Java, like the Java runtime environment or whatever, was too old. Um, so... Now, I've upgraded to the Raspberry Pi 3. Raspberry Pi Model 3. All right, fingers crossed. Moment of truth, third time's the charm. It's only the second time for you since I've cut out the Raspberry Pi 2, but let's see. Son of a bitch. What do you mean? Support division area in a window I mean, compiled by more recent versions. Again! 61, no, what the fuck? How do I get a newer Java runtime? Oh no, are you kidding me? Do I need a Pi 5? Is this just too old? It should have worked. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, let's try an older version. Maybe an older version will work. <laughs> can I move? All right, I can move around. So my client side performance is Fine. Can I break a block? Alright, that's um, already getting a little bit um, slow. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a little bit on the uh, 
on the uh, on the slow side there. Yeah, that's um can't keep up. Is the server overloaded? Running 62 ticks behind. What? All right, but at least it sort of runs. Just, just barely, but it's sort of. Uh, oh, what? okay. It's, uh, it's, it's catching up here. I can break blocks now. So it just needs to like um, think for a little bit. Oh, that's, that's working. Okay, no, that's that's working. That's definitely. It's definitely working a little bit. Can I craft items? What if I try to go in? Uh, do some crafting here. Okay, so I can make oak wood. That's not what I wanted to do. Oak planks. Can make a crafting table. All right, so this is all working. I guess this is all client side. So uh, it's running really behind. The server is six ticks, nine ticks. All right, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Let's just do dumb Minecraft shit and see what happens. Uh. Let's just spawn a whole bunch of creepers. Yeah, the server is running behind. That's fine. It's honestly not too bad though. And there's probably mods you can use, like um, sodium. Maybe I can try that uh, to make it run better. But, um, I mean, I can spawn all my creepers and they're spawning in. Oh, 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 maybe not. Uh oh, they've all frozen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, the, the creepers, they've frozen. That's weird. Yeah, okay, so it's just barely clinging on here. The poor, the poor server is just barely, uh, barely, barely clinging on for dear life here. It's not, um, timed out. <laughs> Right, so, okay, can you run a Minecraft server on a Raspberry Pi 3? The answer is technically, it'll sort of work, but not very well, so. All right, so we're back. I have now finally upgraded all the way to the Raspberry Pi 5. Um. And now, as you can see right here, it's not overloaded anymore. It's not running way behind. It's, uh, chillin'. Uh, the server now has more RAM. So, since this is an 8 gigabyte Pi 5, I just allocated, I don't know, 2 gigs of RAM to the Minecraft server. So, that's better. Where are all my creepers? Did those even spawn? So now I should be able to uh, do whatever I want. So let's uh, do that. We'll just lag the server. Server doesn't care. All right, that's pretty cool. So yeah, Raspberry Pi 5, let's try chunk loading again. Oh yeah, that's so much faster. Okay, yeah, again, chunk loading, even when I'm flying at maximum speed, is fine. I mean, it's loading the chunks. I am catching up to it, but, I mean, this is, you know, a pretty big ask. So, it's keeping up. It's keeping up, it's holding on. It's like a YouTube player versus the YouTube buffer bar. Who will win? Up, oh, it's, it's just, it's holding on. So yeah, Raspberry Pi 5, overpowered, in my opinion. I'm assuming a Raspberry Pi 4 would also be okay, assuming it has at least a 1 gigabyte, 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, I mean, it's loading these chunks just fine. So, so yeah, so again, you know, if I want to play Minecraft on a different computer, on a totally different computer, 
I could, and it would work. Because my world is there. It, my world is here. So I just log into the server on whatever, and it'll, it'll work. Again, the only problem you're going to run into is trying to run the absolute latest version of Minecraft. Uh, probably not going to work because of the latest version of Debian, whatever version of the Java stuff it has packaged is just too old for this. So, yeah, it's just too old to run the latest and greatest version, but maybe if they update that, or maybe there's some way to manually install more up-to-date packages. I don't know how to do that, and I also don't care, so. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. I can fly around just fine. You can load chunks just fine, so. If you have an ultra-low-end PC, like my Chrome box down here, that would work. So, yeah. All right, so what have we learned? We have learned that the original Raspberry Pi has an ARM version six CPU, which is too old to run the um, Java virtual machine. So this is basically a non-starter. Again, maybe if you use like, you know, Minecraft 1.0, Five or 1.3 or something ancient that would work um, I don't even know if those are still up on like Microsoft repos I don't know but to run anything remotely to run or even remotely modern version of Minecraft this is a non-starter because of the old CPU architecture the Raspberry Pi 2 being a 32-bit CPU and running uh, older versions of Debian with older packages. Um, it supported like GRE version 55 and the latest version of Minecraft wanted version 65. So that's awkward. Um, but also, even if it could work, the CPU is slow. I mean, it's orders a magnitude faster than the original Pi. So there's that, you know, quad core ARM v7 versus single core ARM v6. Um, you know, double the RAM, all that kind of stuff. Probably has faster RAM too, because yeah, it's like from 2015, which Pi is which? This is from 2015 versus like 2011, 2012, so Faster RAM, faster CPU, still not enough because with the Raspberry Pi version 3, um, this worked like we were able to run ver <coughs> version 1.20. It might have been able to run a newer version, but I just grabbed something slightly older in the hopes that it would just work without having to fiddle with it too much more. So this technically worked, but the CPU was, it couldn't keep up with just the basic netcode and all the basic, the most basic stuff that was always running behind and it would crash eventually. I think it ran out of RAM or something. Or if you just try to do too much, like I was spawning all those creepers, I was, you know, running around, it was mad at me because I was trying to fly too fast. Um, trying to load chunks, all that kind of stuff was slow. So, I'd say probably the minimum Raspberry Pi, the minimum system requirements to run a vaguely modern version of Minecraft would probably be a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 5. Again, I don't have a Raspberry Pi 4 to test, but um, I'm assuming that would be fine. Probably a little slower than the Pi 5, obviously, because there's an older CPU and slightly slower memory. But yeah. I'd say at least a four gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 or Pi 5. Well, two gigabyte actually, because one gigabyte of RAM for the server and 
I don't know, like one and a half gigabytes of RAM for the server. And then the other 500 megabytes, 512 megabytes for the operating system. It only needs like 50 megs of RAM for it to work, so it doesn't need a lot of RAM. So yeah. Raspberry Pi 4, 2 gigabyte. Raspberry Pi 5, 2 gigabyte is probably the minimum system requirements to run a Minecraft server. If you're using a Raspberry Pi, that is. For x86, I don't know. As long as it supports, I guess, a more up-to-date version of the Java runtime environment and stuff, that would be fine. So, there you have it. My Raspberry Pi 5 is Raspberry Pis can run Minecraft servers if you have an up-to-date one. So, all right, so that's about it. Bye.